we have our first two guests on the show, Shell and Megan from the Amsterdam Photo Club. Welcome. Thank you for joining Hi. us. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Um, I was doing a little bit of research on the Amsterdam Photo Club and I had a look at your website. It's super interesting. How many members do you guys have? 2,700. Okay. Wow. Yeah. We grow about, a, we get about 100 new members per month. A membership is free and most of our events are free as well. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to be like uh, 3,000 early next year. So. Okay, yeah. that's incredible. Awesome. Um, if one wants to join, does one have to have some sort of artistic flair or an eye for photography? Because... <laughs> When, when I try and take artistic photos, they, you know, don't really land up the way I see it. Uh, the camera doesn't see the world I see it. Um, any tips or tricks or, uh, you know, what, what does one do if one wants to join the Amsterdam Photo Club? That's a really good question. Uh, a lot of people that join our basics photography class have a similar goal. They say, okay, I know what I want the picture to look like. I know what's in front of me, but when I take the picture, that's not what I'm getting. Uh, our basics course starts out uh, with teaching you how to hold the camera, teaching you what all the buttons do. Uh, it is handy to have your own camera uh, just because... So then don't, you're... don't turn up with your smartphone or your, or your little <laughs> digital camera. Yeah, that can be a little limiting. Okay. Um, but yeah, you don't have to have any artistic flair. That's what we're going to bring out of you. Okay. Great. And I also want to mention, by the way, our, our background today is compliments of the Amsterdam Photo Club. So, yes, and it I is. believe we'll be getting a new one featured each week. Uh, yeah, we're going to feature uh, a new photographer uh, every week. So, um, um, preferably, we're going to have some evening shots since it's an evening TV show. So, uh, yeah, we have oh, a, a few ones lined up already. Okay, great. great. And um, there's a lot of events going on, upcoming events. Are there any that you would like our viewers to know about in particular? Uh, yeah, we have a lot of events. We do over 30 events per year. Um, I think the next very interesting one is coming uh, this Saturday when we'll go into the middle of nowhere in the fields uh, and uh, we're going to photograph the stars. Uh, oh, nice. On November 14th, there's going to be a super moon. Okay. It's going to be the biggest, uh, the moon is going to be at, at its closest uh, so far this century, and it won't wow. be this close until 2032. So Watch that's definitely something we're going to photograph. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I mean, obviously taking photos of stars and stuff like that, you need quite a powerful camera or quite a powerful lens. Uh, what kind of equip equipment would you use? Do you guys share equipment? Or what kind of tips would you have for somebody starting out who doesn't have all those lots of euros to to buy equipment uh, i think for uh, when it comes to uh, photographing the night sky and doing uh, uh, shots in the evening you really need to have a tripod okay. uh, but uh, other than that there's not that much uh, um, importance uh, when it comes to photography equipment uh, a 20 year old camera can easily be mounted on a tripod and take very beautiful photos today as well okay yeah all right and I noticed that if there's a special event going on or a wedding or a party, um, that people can get, get in touch with the Amsterdam Photo Club to find a photographer that fits their needs. Yeah, that, uh, we have uh, a long list of photographers that specialize in a variety of different types of photography. So it's very easy for us to kind of find the right photographer for anyone needing one in Amsterdam. Yeah. Oh, great. Uh, Megan, your favorite type of photo or subject, um, what would that be? animals people uh yeah i like to photograph people okay and, uh, do they know that you're photographing <laughs> <laughs> yes yes i'm taking a lot of pictures for uh companies uh that uh, need marketing photos to help uh, get attention for what they're doing and uh, also portrait photography personally okay great and can you tell us a little bit about the collaborations that your club has going on here in amsterdam I read a couple, a couple on the website. The business collaborations. Yeah, we uh, we are often often approached by uh, bigger businesses that want to kind of have uh, either an event photographed or, uh, um, uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, get more uh, action on their social media. Mm -hmm. So we uh, have collaborated uh, this year. We collaborated with both I Amsterdam and uh, Heineken. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I think it was only a couple of weeks ago that we helped out the Make a Wish Foundation for the Dump to Dump Lope. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, great. Uh, sports photography, do you do any of that? Because at the football matches, you see these guys sitting around, you, you know, the goal area and on, on the sidelines. And, you know, Slatan Ibrahimovic will smash one into the goal and then you see a camera flying. 
do, does your heart bleed when you see something uh, like that? I'm, I'm not doing a lot of sports photography, but if you want to learn how, we can uh, uh, teach you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think even in our basic course, we teach photo, uh, people how to take photos of uh, um, situations where action is happen happening rapidly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and what got you into photography, Shell? Uh, I I, uh, uh, I finished my studies at the New York Institute of Photography, and okay. uh, I really enjoyed uh, sharing my photos and getting feedback and uh, uh, getting inspired that way. And I thought when I was done, uh, I really wanted to join like a local photo club or something, but there wasn't any. So I just yeah. decided maybe I'll just create my own. Okay. And uh, I think it was only a couple of years later that I ran into Megan. And uh, at that time, we were really looking to expand into courses and workshops. So uh, it was really the perfect time. Yeah. Okay. And actually, we're going to go to the photo walk right now. I believe we have some photos of that here to share with our viewers. Ah, true. Yeah, the, this is a, one of the events that uh, gather the most amount of people. Uh, it can be anything from uh, 20 to uh, even 150. Okay. Um, yeah, and what's so really nice about it is that it's really people from all ages and backgrounds. It's uh, people just sharing the joy of photography, wanting to meet up and... Uh, and take photos together. I'm just amazed at how many people come to these walks. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, we were quite big... surprised as well. We didn't think that was going to be the most interesting event, but now we need to have it every two months because that's the most requested one. Yeah. So Gosh. how long would a would a walk like this take? Uh, about three hours. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and then are... you just choose a specific area of Amsterdam, or we try we try to um, uh, find uh, something more interesting than just walking in the middle of the city center. Perhaps. Uh, there's uh, parks with sculptures or perhaps an area of Am Amsterdam that has recently been developed and we try to shoot architecture photography there. Yeah. Okay, excellent. And Megan, I'm curious because I also saw you have a background in New York or you spent some time studying there as well. And then how long have you been in Amsterdam yourself? Uh, yeah, I uh, studied uh, photography and design in New York and then I moved here in 2008. So I've been here for about uh, eight years uh, doing photography. Okay. And then, you, how did you both meet again? Was it at a we met photography, at a photography event? event? Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and then, could you? I'm really curious about the Shutterstock program. Yeah. Uh, in the last three years, we really specialized ourselves. Uh, we we were approached uh, three years ago by uh, the company Shutterstock, who wanted to have a outreach program for their community and. Uh, uh, we've been trying to help uh, our members sell their photos online and it's really fun to just log in and see how your photos have been downloaded all over the world and what they possibly are used for. So it's, uh, it requires a lot of speci specific uh, technical uh, requirements, but uh, it's really easy to learn and uh, we really try to specialize in that. Yeah. Okay. Do you prefer film or digital? <laughs> digital <laughs> for me. Yeah. Yeah, I I was I have a background in film, but uh, I prefer digital, especially for the courses and workshops. Uh, digital is really nice for learning because you can see the results immediately, whereas film you would have to take a, a time to develop a role before you'd learn your lesson. So for a lot of our uh, workshops, um, we offer basics workshops, advanced workshops, uh, custom courses, and an event called Real Shoot Experience. It's really good to see that you're taking good photos as you're taking them yeah. and to be able to learn instantly uh, if you're being successful in your goal uh, with the photos or not. Okay. And we this only is a, one oh, of our yeah. events uh, that they're showing right now. Uh, this is our event called Real Shoot Experience. Uh, it's our most uh, advanced event. We offer it two times a year and it's basically the day in the life of a photographer. So we pick TV and movie themes, and then we uh, cast models, style them accordingly, and pick a location that goes along with the theme. Uh, this theme is Great Gatsby, and then people come and get to build their portfolio and uh, have a fun day of shooting. That looks like a lot of fun. And it is. <laughs> and it's just something that viewers that are watching now can just go onto your website and find and sign up for and get yeah. involved? Yeah. 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 Oh, great. Um, and for you viewers that are very intrigued, make sure that you check out their website, AMS, there it is, amsphotoclub.com. Uh, and Megan and Shell, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank, thank you. you.